Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Curious Business Talks. In today's topic, I'm talking about your client or freelancer is ghosting you? Question mark. And I hope you never have experienced that feeling of being ghosted. But even if you did, don't fret. I will tell you how to overcome this feeling. Let's dive in. Also, before we continue with the article, I would really appreciate if you leave a like, subscribe to my channel and support my journey by engaging in any kind of way with my content. Thank you so much. Had this ever happened to you and in what variation? Share your experience in the comments. Has a potential freelancer client ghosted you? It happened to me a few times so far and I get it as a normal part of the process, especially in the freelancing world where sometimes budget and turnaround time are prioritized over planning, research and quality. And there is nothing wrong with that. The same style helps me also to stay grounded and focused on the current task or project because I never know if there will be a phase 2 or another collaboration with the same business owner. But when they reach out again, it sure does feel very nice. So, what is actually considered ghosting? Quote, Ghost, ghosting is a term used to describe the act of suddenly ending all communication and contact with someone without any explanation or warning. It's commonly associated with romantic relationships but can also occur in friendship or professional settings. The term ghosting refers to the idea that the person who has been ghosted is left feeling as if they are being haunted by the sudden disappearance of the other person from their life without any closure or explanation. It can be hurtful and confusing experience for the person who has been ghosted as they may be left wondering what they did wrong and what happened to the other person. Ghosting can also be emotionally damaging as it can lead to feeling of rejection, abandonment and self-doubt. End of quote. And there you go, another reason why your imposter syndrome is poking you again. Why is this happening to me? What did I do or say wrong? Is the price too high? Why they don't want to collaborate with me? All examples of questions that might cross your mind. But to get to some kind of closure in your mind and put your overthinking at rest, here are some of the reasons why ghosting each other after onboarding or discovery calls, specifically in this example, might happen. Lack of interest. One of the most common reasons for ghosting could be lack of interest. Either one of you, the freelancer or the business owner, may have decided that the project isn't good fit for you or you may have found someone else who is better match. Overwhelming workload. Sometimes you may be overloaded with work and personal tasks which can cause delays in responding to new projects or potential clients. This can be especially true for us freelancers who may have multiple clients or projects to manage at once melting face emoji <laughs> also i learned the hard way that i can't juggle more than two projects at the same time with the totally different scopes communication breakdown it is possible that there was a miscommunication or misunderstanding during your onboarding or discovery call language or vocabulary barrier this could lead to confusion or uncertainty causing one of you to delay or avoid responding Change of plans. Either of you may have had change of plans or priorities, which could cause a loss of interest in the project or the client. Disappearing emoji in clouds. Fear of rejection. Sometimes freelancers or business owners can avoid responding because they are afraid of rejection or negative feedback. They may feel uncomfortable telling the client that they are they are not interested or that they don't think they are a good fit. Although I always advocate for being honest and giving some sort of honest feedback or explanation. What is important is to remember that ghosting can be frustrating and unprofessional, but it is not always intentional. It's not always about you. 
If you are experiencing ghosting, it may be helpful to follow up with the other party to see if there was a miscommunication. After three days, if they don't respond, you can follow up then or after a week, depending on your assessment of their communication style, to check if they are still interested in moving forward. If not, it's best to move on and focus your energy on finding a new opportunity or work on your personal projects and portfolio. Here we are at the end again. Thank you so much for staying until the end and listening to my article out loud. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like this video, recommend it to a friend, turn on the bell notifications. Wishing you a successful week and see you in the next one. Bye!